These are like impromptu uh, interviews. So. You're not going to do it right here. This so, is in the way. So tell me. So well, tell that's a good okay. point. <laughs> yeah, right here, right here, right here. This is okay. good. Okay, so tell me, why, Artie, why are you humanistic Jew? Well, I'm Jewish. I've always known that. Uh, but I, for most of my life, didn't feel that I fit in the molds of the, the options of what it meant to be Jewish. <laughs> At the same time, I've always known that I'm a humanist, and uh, that my primary concern is about making, using my uh, energy, intelligence, whatever, <laughs> uh, whatever I could muster together, uh, uh, and joining with others to make the world a better place. You know, that we needed to roll up our sleeves to do it if we wanted, to, you know, to make change happen. Um, it wasn't until I discovered humanistic Judaism that I realized that that's what I was. I didn't know that it, it seems like a no-brainer, you know, it would seem like, okay, you have one thing, you're, you're what you're born into as uh, uh, your, your history, your culture, your heritage, uh, just, you know, the, the story of my people, if you will, you know, and then you have the, the values you want to live by, the things you want to do in the here and now, to find a way to put those together, but it, for some reason it, it isn't as self-evident as it, you think it should be, because if it were, I think there'd be many, many more folks identifying as humanistic Jews. Um, so, but I found it. I was fortunate through a good friend uh, who it was all, had her, also herself found humanist Judaism. She talked about it with me, encouraged me to show up, and I did, and I've been showing up since then. I, it was kind of a, a eureka moment. <laughs> Great story. Thanks, Artie. My pleasure. <laughs>